How good is this new gold claim? I just found the best nugget of the day so far. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. I'm excited, today I'm hiking to the top of one of my favorite gold rivers to mine in a spot where the gold rush miners didn't spend much time. Let's go. So Bailey and I traveled quite the distance to get to this remote claim. La la la. Very few people mined up here, so with any luck, we should do okay. Okay, we are here. What a beautiful spot. Now because I'm not here all day, I have to be very strategic where I go to find some gold. Because I know you can find really big nuggets here. I did bring my metal detector to scan over the bedrock, but the main reason why I'm here is to snipe in the water. There is a lot of bedrock here, so I'm super excited to get in there and see what kind of candy we can find. Before I get in the water, I'm just gonna scan this bedrock real quick to see if there's any easy targets and then I'll probably just get in the water. I used the metal detector for maybe four minutes because as soon as I saw Bailey put on his wetsuit, I just had to put mine on too. <laughs> I like the lighting. Are we gonna find some candy? Oh yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh. There's so many places to go, but I'm just gonna start downstream. The first thing I noticed was how much colder the water was compared to where I normally go. And there's a lot more fish. So, like any place you're looking for gold underwater, you want to look for cracks and crevices in the bedrock. Moving piles of gravel is just one of those things you're going to have to do on every hunt. And if there's too much overburden to move with your hands, you can use your leg arms to assist. And once you find a crevice, I like to use a scratcher tool to remove any stuck rock or loose bedrock to see if there's any gold underneath. Potholes like this aren't always the best place to look because the bedrock is usually smooth, but if you're lucky, there'll be a nice crack at the bottom. I'm starting to realize I should have started downstream because I am fogging myself out. I have to wait for this water to clear because I totally just fogged the whole area up. Look, a log! So a big part of testing a new area is to move around a lot. You locate a bunch of areas, then you decide for next time where you want to stay put and actually mine. Yeah! Our first piece of gold. Pretty eerie, if you ask me. Hopefully there's no cougar in this area. I'm joking, there's a lot of cougar in this area. I'm just looking for bedrock that I can work. I'm gonna look a little further downstream and if I don't see anything, I'm gonna make my way much further upstream. Working with Bailey is a lot of fun. He has a good attitude, helps me with filming, and it gives me peace of mind knowing I'm not alone out here. I found this deep crevice that was under a mountain of overburden. It took about 20 minutes to get to the bottom, and when I finally got there, I was pleasured to have found just one little piece of gold. We got another little guy right at the very bottom. I suppose it's better than finding lead. And because this piece is wedged in a thin crack, you gotta scratch her out. Once I sucked it up, I made sure there was nothing else here and moved on. Like I said, potholes aren't always the best place to look, but being that this one is below a little waterfall, I thought I'd have a quick look. Eh, maybe next time. Ah, hands are getting cold. So I found this river to be really spotty up here. I know there's incredible gold, but I'm having trouble finding it. I left this camera upstream because I didn't think I would really make a video because I'm not seeing anything. But I just found a decent little piece, so I came up to grab the camera to show you guys. I just found the best nugget of the day so far. 
I followed the same crack along because finding gold is a sign that there could be gold around. And I know it's hard to see. This river gets really narrow and silty this far up and it doesn't help that GoPro cameras are very poor in low light. I just heard a big crash in the bushes. That's usually gonna be an animal. I'm just gonna say it's not a deer. Uh, just to be safe. Just to be safe. I wanna get my crevice tool. I just don't wanna leave the spot. So I'm just having a quick break right now. The weather changed and it's starting to get a lot more cold than it normally gets cold. A lot of you have been asking for longer videos, so I, I'm gonna acknowledge that and try to make longer videos. But in my defense, no excuse, but just saying, I find it really hard to film everything you're doing and find gold. It can be done, but there's a certain balance that I like to do and it just ends up being like a 10, 11 minute video. But I will for now try to make longer videos. Leave a comment down below if you want longer videos or you like the 10 minutes. On another note, it's a beautiful day. Sun disappeared, but still beautiful. After I went back to grab my crevice tool I left behind, I also grabbed a knife just to have near me. So far, what I'm noticing is that there is gold here, but I'm not finding any spots that have more than others. All the gold here is pretty spread out, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it makes it difficult to know where to come back to. I found another little waterfall with a decent looking crevice below it. After spotting a piece of gold near the surface, I knew it was worth digging deeper. And for some reason, I didn't point the camera when I sucked it up. This piece was a longer piece and it had a couple fly poops with it. So up here, it's really spotty. Finding a lot of nice looking crevices, but most of them have no gold. Found another nice piece. Remember what I said before, when you find gold, that's a sign there could be gold around, so you best be look around. So I'm making my way back upstream to get out of here. I'll look for crevices and whatnot along my way, but it's a long ways up. I went way too far downstream. I actually ended up to the top of my other gold claim, but I'll come back and check that one out on another day. I picked away at random crevices and most of which didn't hold any gold, but it's super important you look everywhere. The best pieces of gold that I have found were always when I least expected it. Also, if you're gonna get a crevice tool, make sure it doesn't have too much of a bend because they don't work very well and it'll take you forever to clean out a crevice. It seems more times than not, I'm finding gold just on the surface of the bedrock and it's not always in the crevices. I'm not complaining, but I'm just not sure why. Right before I got out, I spent the rest of my energy working down to a spot that had a nice crevice at the bottom. I even had to use my leg arms. Unfortunately, the only thing that was in there was water. Okay, so I'm calling it a day. I really do want to stay here longer, but for some reason I'm getting way more cold than I would normally get. It hasn't been too long of a day, but 
It's just taking me so long to get down here, so it's gonna take me longer to get out. I wasn't doing a lot of filming. I only came here to really test. I'm just giving you excuses to why this video is not really long, but hey, we found gold. It was a success. So let's pack up, get back to the house, and see how much gold we found it did. So here we are, the beautiful take for the day. And because we were way further upstream from where I normally go, these pieces are much rougher. And you can see through the microscope, some pieces still have quartz on them, which I love. Okay, let's weigh the candy. What are your guesses? I'm gonna guess eight pounds on the nose. 0.95 grams, so almost one gram of gold. That isn't bad considering I was moving around a lot and this was only a test, so I say it was worth it. Check out that chunky gold, baby. I'm definitely gonna go back to that spot and spend more time there, so success. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy these ones as well.